Welcome, everybody. My name is Scott Conklin. I'm the Director of Admissions at Episcopal High School, and I'm here with our squash coach, uh, Coach Harding, and two of our squash players, um, Hanson and Mary. And we're excited to talk more about our squash program uh, for the boys and girls uh, and, and our facilities and just some of the opportunities that we have in our squash program. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Coach Harding to introduce himself and, and then um, Hanson and Mary. So, Coach. Great, thank you, Scott. So I've been at Episcopal for six years now. I've I've actually coached at other institutions, uh, schools as as well as professionally at, at different clubs around the United States. Um, I've been playing squash now for 55 years. Uh, I'm a five-time national champion. I've trained three champions, three national champions, and also uh, played on on three U.S. Uh, world teams. So. You know, have a fair amount of experience, but fortunately, you know, coaching can happen at all levels. So whether you're an elite player coming to the school or we just need to get the basics down around grip and footwork and the rest of it, um, you know, we, we cover the, the whole gamut of players. Um, our, our facilities are better than, and, and I say this without apology, better than most of the colleges that, that you'll go on and, and attend to play at. Uh, we've got nine glass wall back courts. Um, they're all in beautiful shape, natural wood floors, and uh, it's it, it's just a great facility to coach and to play in and to, and to have tournaments at. So that's that's sort of my background, a little bit about the facility we have at uh, at Episcopal. Great, thanks, Coach. That's quite a resume. <laughs> All right, Hanson, I'm going to turn it over to you to introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Hanson. Um, I'm from New York City. Uh, I'm currently a junior at Episcopal. I'm 17. Um, I've been at Episcopal since freshman year. Uh, I played on the team since freshman year, too. I played before I came to Episcopal. Um, let's see, at Episcopal, uh, I'm involved with the uh, fishing club. Um, and I just love the culture there. Uh, so, yeah. Great. That's Over to you, Mary. Um, hey, y'all. I'm Mary. I'm from Richmond, Virginia. I am a current sophomore at Episcopal, and I've been here since freshman year. Um, I've been playing on the squash team since freshman year as well, and I played squash before I came to Episcopal. I am involved in the Embody Love Club and in volleyball and in rowing and lacrosse and yeah. Great, thanks. Coach, any other things that you wanted to highlight um, or overview before we go to Q and A? Yeah, just, I guess a couple of things. One, uh, well, no, I think it, I, I think just, I'll just give a quick sort of philosophy. So, you know, it, it, since I've been coaching for a long time, I've, I've done everything that I need to do as far as squash. So. I always ask the players on the team, and this is both JV and varsity, kind of what they want to get out of their season because the the situation, the players change every year. Obviously, we graduate seniors just about every year, sometimes obviously more than um, more than we want to. Um, we'd like to hang on to them as squash players. But so I go into each season trying to assess who we've got, the capabilities we've got. But then it's really up to the players. And so we give them an opportunity to get together, have a discussion about, you know, what they want their season to look like. Are they really on uh, trying to build skills or are we really going after a national championship, something like that? And I let those players determine that. And then I start to work with the assistant coaches then to sort of guide the practices to, to achieve that goal, whatever the students desire. So it's, it's really not the coach's goal, mine or the assistant's goals. It's really the player's goals. And I think that has worked well for the five years at Episcopal. Um, and, and we're going to keep that going until somebody tells me otherwise. <laughs> I like it. Good, good philosophy. Um, all right. So we'll, we'll go to, to some questions for uh, Mary and Hanson. But I guess the first question is, what, what's it like to to play in the squash program at Episcopal? What, what is it you enjoy about playing squash? Um, I feel, I enjoy most honestly is being on a team with 
a bunch of girls from different grades because I feel like sometimes you can get a little caught up in your own grade and like your friends in your own grade but I feel like it really like helps expand your community beyond just people in your own grade and I feel like I definitely felt that last year because I was a freshman and I I, I, I said on Anderson which was all freshman girls but having the experience to be able to play with upperclassmen and kind of make friends and hang out with people who aren't in your grade definitely is a big part of it for me. Yeah, I agree with uh, Mary. Like my freshman year, I did fall tennis um, before going to squash. And um, so I met a lot of upperclassmen, but also just sophomores and freshmen that did that. Um, so when I when it came to the squash season, a lot of the upperclassmen played uh, tennis as well, or I mean squash as well. So we were able to like, that was good for like making friends for me. And I also got a lot of my friends my freshman year to play on JV and start squash. So by the third year, like this year, we all sort of play with each other and we've like built a good, like a little community, but like definitely there's like a squash community and it's good and we all play with each other, so. All right, thanks. Uh, uh, question for Coach Harding. Can you talk a little bit about how many students are at Episcopal are playing in the squash program, how many teams we have and how tryouts might work? Yeah, so we've got, we've got four, well, actually we've got five teams this year. We won't count the pandemic year, but we've got uh, generally five teams. We'll have a varsity and a JV for both boys and girls. And then we have a bit of a feeder program. Um, in the feeder program, we've had, I think around 15 people. And on each of those teams in the JV and the varsity, we'll carry any, anywhere from nine to, I think there's as many as 14, as 14 kids in that. Thank you. Um Mary and Hanson, can you talk about the practice schedule a little bit and, and how that works into your day and, and how, as a student athlete, you're, you're able to balance um, being an athlete, uh, playing squash, but also uh, managing your homework and, and social life as well? Um, I can start. Um, yeah, so there's usually how many, there's nine courts, but there's usually two sessions, like an early and a late session. So the early one, we usually start at 3.30, and the late one at 5.30 or 5. Um, so I usually like the earlier sessions, but it's always split pretty evenly. Um, because 3.30 is a good time to play, I think. Um, and that's pretty helpful for homework. But on the weekends, the courts are always open. So uh, like during the week, I'll play a little. And then on the weekends, I can play with my friends and mess around a little or just go down there and play. But usually managing homework is pretty, I, I feel I do homework a lot better if I was like worked out or done something active that day. So like, um, and also squash like sort of takes my mind off the day. So like going to the courts and then refreshing, start like restarting and then being able to go into homework, do that. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. I also enjoy the early sessions, but again, they're split pretty evenly. Um, I definitely enjoy being able to get to the courts after school and just kind of get my mind off of it as well. But I definitely like being able to do like kind of like squash or like sports or whatever. And then like kind of social time, like around dinner, because usually in like a non pandemic year, everyone eats at the same time and then kind of have a little bit of social time between that and study hall at eight o'clock. So on most days, I'll not need to do homework until 7 30 8 o'clock but also i feel like since the schedules do flip around a little bit where like sometimes i'll have early practice sometimes i'll have late sometimes i'll head back to my dorm while my friends are in practice get some work done so that i can still hang out with them before study hall but it definitely, i definitely say it's a balance and it having those like set times on the courts and having that time to like kind of let your mind get away is definitely really helpful I will say, uh, sorry, one more thing. Mm -hmm. After practice, we'll like shower in the locker rooms. And then from there, I usually just go straight to dinner, um, especially in the later sessions. And that's, I, I like that because I don't have to go back to my room and then um, I have to go to dinner again. But it's just, it's pretty efficient to like, just go straight from practice to dinner. Um, 
I don't know. I find I found that helpful. I like that this, you know, the structure at a boarding school kind of keeps you on a nice schedule, which which helps. Um, all right, we're gonna keep it with the kids. Um any kind of traditions, memories, um, you know, or, or what's it like to to play in the squash courts in, in a competition? I know I've been to squash matches and I know those are a lot of fun and there's a lot of energy, but can you talk about some of those moments perhaps? I have my literal favorite moment with the squash team is senior day because it's just such a different vibe than most practices because usually it's the seniors are leading the coaches are like, okay, we're going to do this and this. And like, especially I'm still an underclassman. So I still experience the like, well, these are your captains. This is your coach. And this is what we're going to do. And like, I really enjoy that. But I like being able to like last year, we did a big celebration for senior day because we had, I think, 11 seniors on the girls squash team. It was a lot. And so we all made signs and we decorated the whole locker room and we just had like a fun senior practice. But I feel like it was really nice because that kind of bridged the gap between the underclassmen and the seniors. And it was like, adopt a senior for a day almost where it was like you get them this and you make their poster and I feel like that was just like that's definitely my favorite tradition and to speak on the point about like competition I feel like each competition is definitely different depending on the level of intensity because some teams you know coming in you're going to have an easier time with them than you are with others but I feel like any like one specific competition is the Episcopal individual that is my favorite tournament next to nationals that I played in because I've been playing in it since eighth grade at my old school and so I feel like the vibes are really good and the energy is high just because there's so many different teams coming and playing and you have your friends coming out to support you and it's just really a great time because it's it's like elimination where in a normal squash match you play like the equal number on the opposite team and you have one match or two matches and like a team tournament but this is an individual where it even pushes harder on the point where it's like you're the only one on the court and you have to fight for your position in the tournament it's not like you can rely on your other teammates so i really really enjoy that tournament. um yeah the girls have a good like senior day tradition where they bring their posters in and uh have fun with that the guys don't have that as much but my most memorable experiences are like our home matches i guess away too but it's it's different at home because uh, last year there were like one or two matches where I was the final match and we were tied for all. So we had the whole, we had so much of the school packed in watching, watching the last, last game, fifth game. So um, I don't know, it was like really silent and then you'll play a super long point and then everybody, in the, everybody that's watching will just explode with like cheering and clapping. Um, yeah, that was that's like pretty awesome to think back on. Um, like we don't have that this year, obviously, because we're not going to play matches. But hopefully next year, um, we'll see that again. Well, hopefully we get something in this year. We'll we'll, we'll see. Um, yeah, I know that that venue is such a great place to to watch a match. Um, Coach, can you speak a little bit about the the schedule? Like, how far are the teams in that we're we're competing against? Um, just a little bit about the schedule. And then, kids, I'll have one more question for you, and we'll come back to Coach for any last words. Yeah, so the um, so we compete uh, against a, a number of the private schools. And the closest one we have is Potomac, which is just up the road. Still, that's going to be a 25-minute you know, drive, something like that. Uh, some of the schools will be close to two hours away. I mean, the, the good news is we, we all get on the same uh, comfortable warm van and we run down there and kids can catch up on homework or you know take a little downtime before we get to the match and then we warm up go ahead and play the match sometimes we'll play two schools at a venue and so we'll be there for the entire day playing and then come back uh, later in the evening probably the farthest we have to go I think we've gone as far as Connecticut to go and play in nationals uh, couple times we've made that drive in the van and the last two years the school's been good enough to actually rent us a driver and a big bus and we put the girls and the boys on the same bus and and honestly that that's been fantastic I mean it just it's a big bonding experience everybody's relaxed and we support each other at the at the matches especially those at the nationals so um, 
I've, I've really, really enjoyed my five years or now going on six years at Episcopal coaching squash. All right, last question for, for Hanson and Mary, and then coach, any, any last comments that you wanted to make, but um, you had, you know, we have prospective squash players watching this. Um, any advice that you would give to them uh, as they're thinking about coming to Episcopal and, and playing squash? I would say when I was coming to, or when I was like interviewing at Episcopal, I actually came up and played a tournament or multiple tournaments here because I was in varsity at my old school. And I feel like, like the second I came onto campus, I just like felt the community and I felt just at home, I guess. And even like when I was trying to make a decision, like I just like tried to keep a positive mindset about thinking, well, like, I think this is a great opportunity for me and like I really want to do this but like I kept a positive mindset about all the like great opportunities that I would have and I think keeping a positive mindset like on the court is a big thing because when I came to play and just like hit around like you don't want to get too stressed out you just want to kind of keep yeah I would say overall keep a positive mindset about making decisions and just keep everything in mind. Yeah uh, coming into Episcopal um, um... I guess I didn't really focus on like squash in the beginning because I was more focused on like friends and all that stuff. Um, and it wasn't really until the squash season where I found out like this is who I really want to be here. Um, like not like not that like not to say my personality was just like squash, but like it wasn't really that. But it was just I sort of found out like what I really like what Episcopal was about just from being on the squash team and seeing all that. So that was pretty good. But yeah, when you're coming in, definitely just keep an open mindset. Um, yeah, like sports are helpful for finding out like who you want to be and who you want to hang out with, but um, definitely just you sort of just have to figure that out yourself. But sports will help with that, so that's really important. Good advice, Coach. Any any last comments before we wrap up? I think the you know, in, when they do surveys, one of the, the key questions that people ask is, you know, would you recommend this to your friends? And if, if people answer yes on that, then you then you know you've got a good product. And I think the the same thing happens in reverse. I probably get 70% of the graduating seniors that contact me via email or phone or LinkedIn after they've left the program. And we talk, you know, not only about squash. In fact, most of the time it's not about squash, but it's more around career, around life, around jobs and things like that so um you know it's it's probably the first coaching experience i've had where that community and those those friendships have lasted a lot longer and and gone long beyond the squash court and that that's what i really like about episcopal yeah. well, well thanks coach and and mary and hansen uh, clearly some you know amazing opportunities for uh, athletes who are interested in squash coming to episcopal I love the, the culture, the family feel um, that you all have created and, and that that's extending beyond um, their, their time at Episcopal. So thank you for sharing your, your comments and thoughts about the squash teams. Um, for the prospective students that are, are watching, we encourage you to reach out with any additional questions that you might have. Um, I'm happy to put you in touch with Coach Harding or Hanson or Mary, and I'm sure that they would love to answer any questions that you have. But we're excited about the next steps in the application process and thanks for uh, joining us today. Great, take care guys.